What's up, Daddy Army? Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Daddy Twins. Making the highly requested Escovich fish. Escovich? Escovich? Girl. <laughs> yes, y'all. And oh, yo. listen, and we're not only making Escovich fish, we are making also festivals. festivals. Everybody know that when you're eating fried fish, you have to have some festivals. Best thing that go or is some bami on the side. Bami. Today we're making festivals. Even some bread too. Today we're making some festivals, mm -hmm. and also on the side, guys, we're gonna be making some pineapple juice. So okay, Jamaican guys, can, um, pineapple Jamaican juice. style pineapple juice. So mm -hmm. let's get into it, baby girl, because we are hungry as always. We're always hungry, because mm -hmm. normally when we're filming this, we don't eat nothing at all, and For the we, whole day. Yeah. yeah. So let's get into this grocery list, and then let's get into prepping. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're gonna start off with our fish. Now, when making escovish fish, um, you use <laughs> escovish. <laughs> Escovich. It's hard to Escovich. pronounce. Escovich. fish. You make, you use um, red snapper fish. Now, I went to the um, shop, right? And they had, listen, we're about to have a snowstorm. So everybody went through the whole supermarket and took everything. They didn't have no red snapper fish, but they had snapper fish. So this is not the red one. I mean, it's kind of red, kind of sort of-ish. Yes. But listen, the snapper fish, we're going to have to use it because we didn't have a choice. So here's our snapper fish that we need. Let's get into the seasons we need to, to make our fish. So we have sweet peppers, we have the red kind and we have the green kind. We have a carrot that we're gonna need. We have some scallion. We have onions. We have some thyme. And this, this is the star of the show. You need, listen, I'm not Why are we using this? this? This it has to go on the on escovish fish. It has to go on. Now we can determine how much we put on it because we don't really like spicy food like that. But we have to put some on it. It's part of the dish. Put it on your fish, please. It's I don't want it on dish. mine. Anyways, so we have the um, Scotch bonnet pepper, and now let's move on to oh oh oh. We also need vinegar for the fish and some oil of course to fry the fish we're gonna also put some accent on the fish for seasoning just to give it a, a taste because you know we like our food seasoned and we're also gonna add some black pepper to that so let's move into the stuff that we need for the festivals so we're gonna need regular flour mm -hmm. we're gonna need some cornmeal we're gonna need some bacon powder and let's move into the things we need for the pineapple juice we need limes of course, we need some ginger. And guys, for the pineapple juice, you do not use the actual pineapple. You use the skin of the pineapple. The skin, this is what we're gonna use and we're gonna boil it in order to get our pineapple juice. So okay guys, that's it for the grocery list. I am ready to prepare this meal because when I tell you I haven't had festivals in a while and with some fried fish, oh, we is ready, let's go. So guys, the first thing we're gonna do is wash our snapper fish, so we're gonna Put this in the sink. We're gonna add some vinegar, of course. And then we're gonna put some water on that. We're gonna wash them. Now guys, these these fishes are um, pre-cleaned. So it's already gutted, it's already scaled. So we don't need to, um, we don't need to do all of that. It's already pre-cleaned. Okay guys, now that our fish is washed and all the bacteria and germs and everything is gone, baby girl, it's not raw. I mean, it's still raw, but the majority of the rawness is gone. Now it's time to season our meat, our fish. But before we do that, we're gonna add two slits to our fish. And the reason for doing this is to marinate the seasonings. When you put the season in there, it's gonna go inside of the fish. So we wanna put two slits on each side each of the fish these fishes are big honey and that knife is sharp okay guys so now it's time to season our fish just gonna use like two packets of accents right all over the fish Flip them add some more to the other side then we're gonna add some black pepper
Nothing's only happened to me whenever I use black pepper, it makes you sneeze. <coughs> See? Bless you. Make sure you're getting the inside of the fish also with the seasonings. You don't want only the outside of your fish to be seasoned. You want the inside to be seasoned too. Okay guys, so now that our fish is seasoned, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit, 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and fry them. Okay guys, so meanwhile, our fish is marinating. It's time to prepare our seasonings for the fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice up my carrot. Okay guys, so now that we have chopped up all our seasons that we need for our fish, show them our seasons. Our beautiful seasons, we have our sweet peppers, the red ones and the green ones. We have our carrots. Now this is how you wanna dice your carrots. And you want your sweet peppers to be long and big like this. And we have our onions right here and our scallion. We have our scotch bunny pepper here. Normally they cut up this um, scotch bunny pepper also, like take the seeds out of the middle. But we don't like spiciness like that. So what I'm gonna do is when we're preparing the um, vegetable part for the fish, we're gonna just drop this in the pot and let it steam a little bit with, the, with these. So we're not gonna open it because we don't want it to be that spicy. But anyways guys, our fish is already marinated right now. So we're gonna go on over and fry them. We Ooh, have our, is this oil hot enough? Yes, we have our frying pot ready mm -hmm. and we are going to put our first fish in. So you want to make let sure... Me, let me step back a little because they're not burning me today. Yeah, you want to make sure that your fish is not... They're not burning me up today. Not like wet, wet, wet. Of course it's going to be wet because... Yeah, but... Come, we got to be careful. Come, carry. Craig, I'm going to step back. Very smooth. I'm gonna do a zoom in because I don't want to fish up on the middle. Okay, guys, so what, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna allow this fish to fry. We're gonna let this fry for five minutes on each side. So, as soon as five minutes, so it's 540 now, 545, I'm gonna flip it. And yeah. Yo, if you guys can actually smell how this fish is smelling already and it just started frying, oh my god. <laughs> Okay guys, so now it's time for us to flip our fish. Now I said, I know I said five minutes to flip on each side, but I waited 10 minutes. I wanted my fish to be a little bit more brown. So I'm gonna be carefully flip my fish. Yo guys, it's so difficult to use this flipping thing. All right, so I'm flipping my fish. Yeah, that's a good amount of brownness. It looks golden. Oh y'all! If y'all could smell this fish, though, get into this fish here. Why am I turning upside down? I'm gonna flip them around real quick. Right. So you want them to be? Yeah. The fish are going to. I like the color. Fish look good, though. Uh huh. Fish are going. It's just a sizzle, yeah. Look like one of them fish you get from Don't River Farms. I don't River Farms. I print this. No, print this fish them bigger. Print this fish them bigger tail. Okay, guys. So our first fish is done. Now we're gonna put it to the plate, add it to the plate. You don't want to come out of the pot. Okay guys, so our first fish. Ooh, that fish looks good. Okay, now we're gonna add another fish to the pot. Ooh. That okay guys, so our second fish is done on one side, so now it's time to flip. And I'll let this one stay on 10 minutes for this side. Mm, mm. That color then nice and brown. Nice and brown golden color. So I'm gonna leave this on this side for 10 minutes also. Okay guys, so meanwhile the fish is frying. I just flipped it and dipped it and flipped it. So we're gonna move on to the sauce now for our escargot fish. So what we're gonna do now is we have our frying pan on the stove. It's heated. First thing we're gonna add is our vinegar. 
Add some vinegar to our pot. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna need a little bit more vinegar. Ooh, that smells strong already. Add some more vinegar, cause you want it to be enough vinegar to, to um, when you're putting all your seasonings, it's gonna um, engulf it. So, it's gonna what it? Engulf it, engulf, like surround it. Okay. Saute it. Okay, so we have our vinegar there. Now we're gonna add our seasoning. We're gonna add in our sweet peppers, our carrots. All of that to the mix. Ooh, this vinegar is strong. Now we're gonna add our onions, some scallion. I'm not gonna add all of the scallion, just a little bit, and then a little bit of thyme right there. And then guys, we're gonna add some pimento seeds to that. We're gonna want the pimento seeds. And then we're gonna have, add one spoon of sugar. I'm gonna one tablespoon? One spoon of sugar. Tablespoon of sugar, yeah. Well, you could add whatever, how many amount you want. I'm adding one tablespoon. Now we're gonna drop our scotch bunny pepper into the pot. And we're gonna allow it to steam. Now guys, be careful with this, with the, with this pepper because you, want, you don't want it to burst. Well, I don't want it to if burst. If it bursts are you and I don't want to eat this, and I'm not eat this. It looks like I'm going to want it burst. I'm going to like my food extra I'm spicy. I'm not eat if it bursts. I'm not going to eat it. So now we're going to allow this to saute a little bit. And then, oh, 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 I need to add a little bit of um, salt to it. I need a little bit of salt in here. Just a pinch. Yeah, that's good enough. Just a little pinch. Not too much. And then we're going to allow that to saute. Okay, guys, and now you want to cover that and allow it to saute. So guys, the second fish is finally done. Yo, the one that just splash up on me, the one on my neck and on my face or something. Let me show me back back, cause now I'm gonna not mind All right, so my first one for the pot. Bring the plate here, bring the plate quick. Okay guys, so this is the second fish. Now I'm about to add the third fish, but wait, let's, let's check the, the, um, the sauce for the escovish fish. Let's see how the sauce looks. Ooh, yo guys, if you guys smell yo, this. Yo, the smell. Ooh. Craig, make sure that pepper doesn't get loose, you know. Yo, we're not trapping that pepper in the bus. Finally, adding our last fish to the pot. Step back. Ooh. I'm not trying to put up my I'm not going up myself for no fish in my mouth. Oh. Hey guys, so our fish is finally done. Our three fishes. Yo, Ooh, these look they amazing. look good. Good. Okay, Kiri guy, what we're we about to do now, Kerry? We are about to do the dough for the festival. Oh, yes, I'm ready for some festivals. I haven't had a f festivals in a while. She's ready. Look at these fishes. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Festival time. Okay, guys, so for those who don't know what festivals are, they're kind of like fried dumplings, but these ones are sweet. And um, yeah, you're not going to boil them like how you would boil a regular dumpling. You're going to fry them and you're going to do like skinny, you're going to make like skinny versions. Like they're going to be like going to roll them up. You're going to roll them up into like a long skinny thing and then you're going to fry them. Just, so, just show them. I'm going to show you how you do that. Okay. So first I'm going to use two cups of flour. So that measuring thing is a one cup. One, two. Then we're going to use one cup of cornmeal. Okay, then we're gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder. We don't overdo the baking powder, because remember that was what make the dumpling one, swell. I know, one tablespoon. So one tablespoon. Then we are going to add our sugar. We're gonna add um, a quarter cup of sugar, because you know our festivals are gonna be sweet, so we gotta add sugar to that. Quarter cup, okay. And you can add brown sugar if you have brown sugar. And then after you do that, you're gonna mix everything in, like so. Make sure you get everything meshing. Then after this, I'm gonna gradually add my water because I don't want my thing to be too soft. So I'm gonna gradually add my water and then work it in. And in this water, I added some salt in there. So guys, my dough is finished. Look at this nice golden yellow color that it has because of the cornmeal. And this is the color that your dough is supposed to be looking like. So now I have the pot over here. 
with the oil that's very hot right now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to roll up some of this in my hand like so. Then I'm going to make it long like this. And I'm gonna add you that know, I'm to the pot. You know I'm gonna swell. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. Okay guys, so meanwhile Kira is frying his festivals. Look at how the festivals are coming along. Oh, they look mm. good. Ooh, that look nice at that nice golden, golden color. brown. You see that cornmeal? Okay guys, so we're gonna move on to preparing our pineapple juice. Now, I have a, a pot of water on the stove, boiling now. Oh, it's ready for my pineapple skins. So I'm gonna add my pineapple skins. I said pineapple. <laughs> I'm done. So I've added my pineapple skin to the pot. And then guys, I'm gonna add some ginger. I cut up my ginger in some in a small smaller sizes and now I'm gonna add it to the pot also. And I'm gonna allow that to boil for like 15, 20 minutes. Yo, let's see all them festival that shape good and I look perfect. No sakiri are going are good. Magical. No sakiri are making the right perfect size. Magical. No so them festival that look good. Mm -hmm. festival, I can't even taste it. No sakiri, hurry up. So guys, the pineapple skins are bubbling in the pot to make our pineapple juice. And yeah, we're almost done. I can't wait to eat, guys. Kira, are you ready to eat? Ready. We're hungry. Ready. The fish them been done. Ready. We're ready. Look at them festival, ready. yeah. And guys, it's gonna take a few tries to get the perfect size for the festival. <laughs> Trust me. Because the first one, the first three or four ones was very ill shape. But these are like the perfect size. The perfect shape. Perfect okay. shape. Shape yes. and size, yeah. Even though everybody, people make them, them festival different. Yeah, shape. I like the skinny ones like these, skinny and long. <laughs> that the festivals, right? the festivals. That the phone right, me and Girl, mom. bye. Okay, guys, so our pineapple skins and our ginger is done boiling. Look at the pot, carry. So what we're gonna do now is time to sweeten our pineapple juice. Okay, so we have some lime here. We have sugar, of course. And but well, first we're gonna extract the liquid from the skins so I just want to pour that off and it's still hot guys so we want to um put it in something that it's not gonna burn the container so we're using a glass container here oh you smell that you smell the ginger and the pineapple Ooh. Mm -hmm. it smells really good okay so first we're gonna start off with our lime I'm gonna squeeze that in Okay guys, so it's time for us to add some sugar. Oh, this smells lovely. It smells lovely. So we're gonna add some sugar to that. Do a taste test after you mix that in. So wanna mix that in. Now you might need some more sugar or lime. We don't know, we just have to taste it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Normally guys, you'd have to wait for it to cool down before you sweeten it, but I was like, let me just sweeten it from now because it um the sugar dissolves quicker when it's hot. So you got taste it now? Yeah, me got taste it. Oh, clock. So guys, now it's try time to taste it and see how it tastes. This. Ooh, this pineapple smells good, though, girl. All right, let's see how this tastes. Mmm, I taste it's good. Really good. You yeah. taste the lime and the sugar. I t you taste everything. I taste the pineapple, which is the top note. I taste that. And I taste the lemon, I mean the lime, and I taste the um, well, I don't taste the sugar, but I taste the good because me, good. yeah, all right, so I'm hungry, so hurry up. It tastes good, yeah, all right, all right. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer, let it sit a little bit so it get cold, and then we can go on and eat. I'm ready for eat my hungry, bad, 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 my famished. Okay 
okay guys so the food is finally ready look at this escovitch fish carry Ooh, good. this looks so no, good and look at the festivals which restaurant we go no sir i'm ready for eat we're ready for eat okay guys so it's finally time to eat finally time to eat wait wait i'm gonna have the fart i'm gonna have the fart I think I want to taste my festival. Wait, what the fuck? Let me, um, I want to taste my festival first. You want to taste the festival first? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's taste the festival first. Mmm. Taste the festival first. Ooh, I like the texture of the mm. festival. Mmm. I'm thinking about it a little bit more sugar. Mm -mm. Always tastes good. I needed some um salt. That's what I needed. Uh, this is really good. Mm. Uh, it's up the second bite, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually mm. really good. Literally, it tastes like the vinegar and the carrot. Yo, are you dumb? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the fish now. Mm. Or the actual fish. Wait. Mmm. 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 Mm. The vinegar on the. Mmm. Are you fucking dumb? Listen, guys, this is our first time making this. This is bomb. That's <laughs> pretty good, boy. This is bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 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 Yo. No. The season store. We should make this more often. Oh. Really you know, I don't like vinegar like that, but the vinegar on this it tastes mm -hmm. really good. When you look at the sugar, this tastes really good. No. The festival tastes good. The festival just needs a little bit more. I think that you could. If I put a little salt on it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. The fish is perfect. You know you said your arm? Mm-hmm. The fat? I use the fat when I eat fish, you know me dear. Remember that beach I use the fat use fat? This not this. The only the only difference the between the beach. The only difference between the arm, the red snapper and the because it's red. Because it tastes <laughs> just like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, this fish tastes good and the fish is not dry it's just the right amount of moisture well i did put the um the sauce juice on it the vinegar and everything mm. i like this this festival so listen guys if you cook mm. there's no reason for you to be going out and eating like eating out a lot you can cook the, cook the stuff yourself mm -hmm. tastes just that good Mm -mm. Here we go. Put everything in the most at once. It tastes like the uh, uh, um, Elsa Beach. Mm -mm. I'm not even going to lie. Everything together. Mm -mm. And I'm glad that it's not. It, I taste a little bit of spice, but it's not OD. Mmm. This festival is doing. Mmm. 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 Listen, guys. We don't have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Just eat. Mmm. 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 This is OG good. Mm -hmm. Oh gee good. Mm. First of all, are you done? Who are you? Who are we? We are that fish. <laughs> Talk 
tip talk talk for yourself, my dear. Mm-mm. I'm gonna need one more fresh about my love. Mm-mm. 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 So guys, this is it for this video. As you can see, we couldn't even talk much because the food was that good and we just want to savor everything. We haven't had um, festivals in a while. Well, we had some excavish fish the other day. Oh. But this <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see my pineapple. But this escavish fish, you have one with the extra this and there's a pineapple in your glass. So my pineapple, I'm gonna eat man before it drop, my love. Mm. It's sweet mm. too. No, this juice is really good. Yo, we just went right into it. We didn't even say our grace. We forgot to say our grace. <laughs> Let's say it now. <laughs> God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. And please press the hand that we're created. <laughs> no, that food is a little too sweet for two, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This juice, though. Mmm. Mmm. So refreshing. <clears throat> Bread freeze. Oh, my God, so fishy. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. Your wife is sleeping. Nigga, right, is a kick in, right? 
So guys, we'll see you in the next video. And as we always say, every, every day, day is another chance, chance to slay. So, so slay, bitch. Slay. What you slay. waiting on? Make sure y'all send us your pictures, your pictures and your videos, okay? Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And girl, make sure you like this video, girl. And leave a comment down below, girl. Okay, girl? Okay. Right now. Body twins, body twins, body, 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 body twins. Body twins, body twins, body, 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 body twins.